To get started, we need a cup of cooked chicken, vegetables, I'm using a heaping cup, and a little more, just because I love vegetables. Next, I'm adding some homemade gravy, which I will take you back right now and show you how I make my really simple, really easy weeknight gravy. In this case, I'm using a pan that I just fried up some chicken in, and to that I am adding about four tablespoons of butter. You can just start out with the butter if you are not cooking up any chicken, and your gravy will be delicious as well. Once I get the butter melted in the pan, I add in some very finely chopped up shallots, or if I don't have shallots, I just use red onion. I then just cook this for about a minute or so just to get the shallots a little bit tender and cooked. No salt. Do not add any salt to this because we are going to be putting in chicken bouillon, which has a lot of salt in it, and I have salt in this pan remaining from when we season the chicken, so do not add salt. Trust me on that. I've made that mistake before. So I had a half stick of butter. Now I'm adding about four tablespoons of flour. Give that about one minute. Now I'm adding in about three cups of broth. Not sure if I'm going to use it all. Yeah, I am. A little pepper. I'm just going to thicken this with the heat, get it up to like a little bit of a boil. I'm just going to finish this with a hit of half and half. Oh yes. And there's our gravy, super simple, super fast. If you don't want to make your own gravy, that's fine. Just add in a can or two of cream of chicken soup. I'm just going to give this a stir. And just like that, here is our pot pie filling. How easy. Next, we need to take our Pillsbury biscuits and And we are just going to take it. You could use a rolling pin if you wanted, or you could just do it like this. And just press it into your muffin tin, just like that. Now we are just going to take our mixture and scoop it in. I'm just going to gather them in a little bit like this, just so they don't touch and stick to each other. This step is probably not necessary. You could even make it look cute if you wanted. Make them look like flowers. I'm just going to pop these into a 375 degree oven for about 14 minutes. Look at that. So delicious. Here we go. Oh my God, is that good? Mm. Wow. It's chicken pot pie all wrapped up in a little cup. It's so good. I was not expecting this. I thought it would be good. I love this. I would definitely make this over and over again. I love that the edges of the dough are a little crispy and then the inside is like nice and soft. And then the flavor from the gravy that we made 
and the vegetables and the chicken. It's just really, really good. I just want to say thanks for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can pop another video right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time.